Hi guys, thanks again for watching. Just doing a quick overview on a new knife that I just got. Here at the table I got some uh, EDC eye candy. On the right here we got my Phoenix Lights PD32 Ultimate Edition. And on the left here we have a newly acquired Pebble smartwatch. Uh, trying it out for a couple days. So far it's pretty cool. As you can see it's uh, 2 19 in the morning. Couldn't sleep so I decided to do a video. Um, this video is going to be on the Olamic Cutlery, the wafer flipper here. You can see there Olamic Tactical and it's the carbon fiber model. I have another one of these on order with Eugene. I'm not really sure when I'm going to get on it yet but I am loving their carbon fiber. I was talking to Eugene the other day and he's telling me that everyone is basically asking for um, contoured carbon fiber. Uh, which I don't blame them because it's basically a mix of this carbon fiber in their contouring which is great as you can see here my bravado done in C-Tech uh, let's get on with the knife so it is a flipper model it's a four inch blade I was talking to Eugene again and he says that this is a 400 grit satin blade Let's check out the carbon fiber here and the little details. It's, uh, it's great. It's almost like a marble carbon fiber. It's got a titanium liners and a titanium backspacer. And that's one thing I notice about this knife is that the handle itself, when you hold it, it's very, very light. Fits in the hand really well. Has this nice little finger groove. You can see here as uh, the flipper actually creates a nice little finger guard. Everything else, uh, it's typical Olamic cutlery, just like uh, the Bravado. It's very, very ergonomic in hand. It's very comfortable, effective jimping, great little purchase. The one thing I like about this knife over the Bravado is going to be the pocket clip. Let me close this down. The pocket clip is eats, eats. It's a little wider, but it is thinner. So you can see there, it doesn't ride out, uh, protrude as much as uh, the Bravado. Feels a little bit better in hand too. Now just listen to that flipping sound. Just rockets out. This is a push button method. Let me do a light switch. Or the skeleton rock back. You can see there, rockets out each and every time. Um, this is riding on a uh, ball bearing system, cage bearing as I believe. Uh, one thing that's cool about this knife, if I can get it to focus here, come on. It's focusing on the gear in the back. But uh, let's see if we can see it here. The stop pin, so you can see there, as I move the blade, you can see the stop pin moving and that's because it's riding on those grooves right there and so the stop pin is on the blade and the milled out area is actually on the liners which uh, gives it that loud authoritative thud when you close it now the one thing uh, not one but one of the many things that I appreciate about this uh, this knife is a flipper uh, you can see here how it's rounded off and it's also nice that it's hollowed out, gives it a nice unique look but the main part is that it's rounded off, it's 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 nicely curved here so I can get my finger in there and oh, that was a fail, pull down but what's nice is that the fact that it's rounded allows me to push button it without uh, much pain in my index finger um, the first day I got this, my index finger and my thumb definitely were in pain just because I flipped it so many times. Such great action, it's, it's, it's very satisfying to flip. Um, I almost compare it to uh, my Division flipper, you can see their carbon fiber, both flipper. But you can see here on the Division, it's actually very pointy. So as I push down, as I flip, more and more, it's 
starts to push down on my index finger there. But a lot of similarities. They're about the division is 4.16 inches. Wafer is four inch blade. They're both carbon fiber, titanium liner locks, or titanium liner locks, yep. And lockup is pretty similar. You can see on the division how it's about 50%, basically riding flush with the tang of the blade. So is the wafer. Uh, but you can see here how it is a radiused tang. And Eugene and the guy at uh, the guy is at Alignment Cutlery have been doing a lot of research and he's been telling me all the different variations that, that they've done with the blade. Uh, they've also carbonized the lock there, so I don't see it moving. I've been flipping it a lot for the last couple weeks, and it's pretty much stayed where it's at. And it's actually gotten smoother. It's starting to break in, so it's pretty good. Let's move this stuff out of the way, and let's do some size comparisons. Um, big blades first. So here is the division flipper. There is the wafer. Let's do butt to butt. It's more official that way, right? You can see here that the division is a little bit bigger, about half an inch bigger. Let's move this out of the way. Uh, let's do the bravado, which is another four inch blade. Now the blade length is the same. But you can see here, if I put them uh, butt to butt, the bravado handle, because it's a little bit longer, it is a, like about half an inch again. Um, it's compared to something most people will have. Uh, the Chris Reeves Sabenza, which I recently got back from Idaho. It's great to have it back. Uh, already scratch on there. Oh well. Supposed to be scratched up and used anyways. You can see here the uh, Sapenza is 3.625 inches. This is a 4 inch blade. So it is a little bit bigger. Let's close these up. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with this knife. Uh, so happy in fact that I have another one on order. I'm still deciding, finalizing what I want, but I'm pretty excited of what's coming out of Olamic guys. Keep an eye out for them. If you guys are interested, just email Eugene. He's one of the nicest guys to deal with. Overall, it's a great knife, great flipper. Very, very fun. Very, very fun. Uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching again. Good night.